hello everyone this is Imran Ali here and welcome back to our channel and today we are going to talk about how to set up shipping on Equid. like step by step we are going to tell you how to do it as you can see over here like we have created a new account on Equid, and this is the interface of Equid, and there are a lot of things which you have to do but what we are going to tell you about right now that how to set up shipping on Equid. so yeah so as you can see over here like set up for your website add your product or services review regional settings and choose how to deliver your goods this is what we are looking at right now like this tutorial so we are going to click on it and believe me it's a very simple setup but uh, once you will realize how it how easy it is i'm pretty sure that you will start doing this today so as you can see over here like the first option is shipping local delivery self pickup so like obviously you can like see the with the title like shipping and local delivery like local delivery within my country shipping like outside my country self pickup like people are going to come and pick them up like by themselves so this is all are very similar when we are going to set up our shipping now we are going to start how to like set up like all the shipping methods so before we go further let me tell you that i live in pakistan and i'm going to do everything accordingly like how i can send things from pakistan right so if you are going to click on add shipping you can see that it's a pakistan post you can go ahead and set up with the pakistan post if you want and you can set other carriers like you can write it down or you can see over here like view all carriers just click on it and you will find multiple carriers over here also so what are we going to do like for this tutorial base like just remember that whatever you are going to select every similar like every post has similar options so just don't like uh, get scared like uh if royal mail have the same options or not or fedex have the same options or not all of them are same with the options menu so usps i'm going to use usps and you can see over here like setup rates for usps and you can like automatically calculate rates from usps so usps are going to calculate rates by themselves and you can just go ahead and with that if you want to do that or you can just go custom or flat rate conditional fee shipping if you think that you can add that or you can just go ahead and click on set a free shipping if you want but i'm going to go with this like obviously so set up usps and you are over here so you can see over here like set up set a minimum subtotal to allow this method only for orders and above a specific amount you can just go ahead and do that if you want and uh, you can see the second step is show estimated delivery date at checkout click on it and you will find multiple options are available over here like estimated transit time you can just go ahead and do the order preparation time like how many like how many days it will take to like prepare for the customer to like for us to create a product for our customer so i just go ahead and do like two days and you can just go ahead and like days when you pack orders like specify days of the week when you pack orders for shipment so just remember that when you pack orders for shipment so like monday to friday is good otherwise you can just go ahead and go the, with the specific days if you want like every day including weekends you can do that or and uh, and obviously like you can do ahead like specific uh, custom time frame you can also set that on order preparation time right down below you can see i pack orders received past this time on the next day it's four uh, like it's 4 p.m or a.m like obviously it's p.m and uh, that's it i guess it's good for me right and uh, specify your shipping origin so i ship orders from my company's address I ship orders from a warehouse or another location so you can just go ahead and click it and you can set up everything like accordingly over here and otherwise you can just go ahead and do that like I have done this before and just go ahead and save and finish so it has been added to my like my profile as you can see over here it's disabled because USPS is not available in my country just 
for this tutorial because I'm just going to tell you like this and uh, as you can see over here like shipping options first of all just disable all this is what I usually does in my official account and you can see over here like USPS uh, first class mail you want to that uh, available like if you want to like uh, your customer to see this option go ahead and enable this so they have like multiple options like if they want like like quick or not like this is all going to happen like that and there are multiple options over here with the usps and if you go and scroll down over here like show estimated delivery date at checkout so we have already edited this and uh, obviously we can also edit from here also you can set the everything over here like a uh, shipping region there is there any like uh, limit if you want to set like in your country also or in your area or in your state only you can just go ahead and limit by that you can just go ahead and and obviously yeah you can just go ahead and create zones on the map like how many area you want to cover only and uh, obviously you can set the like with the name and everything and uh, no limitation like uh, like anywhere you want to send somewhere like uh like in uk or usa you can do that also right down below shipping markup how many shipping markup you want to like add you can also add that default packet size so mostly people are very confused like what will be the packet size for our product and you can also set that from over here like 12 by 12 by 12, 12, 12. so yeah so the next option is minimum order subtotal as you can see over here like specify the order subtotal before discounts so yeah this delivery method won't be available at checkout for orders below that uh, amount so obviously you can see with the description like what they are trying to tell you like obviously internal shipping name you can also change that if you want or not and right down below you can see like use your own shipping account if you want to do that you can do that like if you have any usps account available you can just go ahead and do that because this lets you get lower lower shipping rates from the carrier as negotiated from for your account so this is a great advantage if you want to go do that and regular like packet size which we did above and that's it you just go ahead and click Control save or just click on save if you want to do that. That's it. So, yeah. And if we would like to add multiple options over here, like for the for our customer, like multiple carriers, if you want to add that, you can also do that with the same options and same things which you want to do that. So, yeah, this is all you need to know about shipping matter, like how you are going to set up a shipping matter on Eggware. Obviously, this is showing like you don't have available USPS in your country, so you can just go ahead and change it. But this is the tutorial based, and this is my like separate account. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. I hope you understand what I've tried to say. If there are any queries and there are questions, please comment down below and ask us. Like we are like available for you, and we would like to tell you everything. So thank you for watching this video. Bye bye.